Hello everyone, welcome back to part 4 of the pawn game and today we are going to improve our game by working on the scoring and the score labels and the first thing to do is we need to add a labor so here we have labor make sure to move it to the top and the background and rename it to player score In the inspector we have the text field is where we can write any text we want and I'm gonna initialize it to zero and to the top we have layout click on it and click on full rectangle now in the inspector for the align select center and for the V align select top now when we zoom in we can see our text here but we need to change the font and the size of this text down here we have theme overrides click on it go to fonts and click on new dynamic font click on it go to font and in the assets folder we have that font file click and drag to the font data And for the settings, we need to set the size to 48. And as you can see, we have our text here with a good font and with a bigger size. Now for the margin, I'm going to set left margin to minus 80. Now we need to do the same thing for the computer play score. So click on play score label and press on Control D. Now rename it to Computer Score and go to the margin and set it to 80. And like this we have two labels for both players. Now the next thing to do is we need to replace the left and the right side walls with an area 2D and to do that we can remove those walls and add a new area 2D or we can simply right click on it and go to change type and select area 2D we need to do the same thing for the right side No, the main idea is we want every time the ball enter the left side area 2D the computer will score a point and every time the ball enter the right side the player will score a point but before we get into that when we zoom in here we can see that the area 2D is already colliding with the top and the bottom wall and that can lead us to some issues and in order to resolve that we need to set up some physics layer to the game and to do that we need to go to project project settings and under layer names we have 2d physics and here is where we can add some layers to the game the first layer is going to be the world layer and we are going to need a layer for the players so player and finally we need a layer for the ball then close now we need to set the layer and the mask of every object in the game let's start by the player we we'll click on it and we have collision click on it and here we can set its layer so for the player it will have the player layer and we need to remove that and for the mask it will collide with only the word which is number one and we need to do the same thing for the computer player it is a player and it will only collide with the word and when we say the word 
that means the top and the bottom walls. Now let's move on to the ball object. The ball object will have the ball layer and it will collide with the player and the world. Now for the top and the bottom wall, its layer is going to be the world and it will not collide with anything. And now for the left side, we can set its layer to nothing and it will only collide with the ball. And the same thing for the right side. And like this, we avoid any problem from collisions. Now, in order to make these 2D areas know that a body is entering to them, we need to select the left side and go to Node and make sure to select Signals. And here we have a lot of options, but we are looking for the body entry. Select it and click on Connect. And we need to connect that signal to the main lever, but we could not do that because the main lever don't have a script yet. So go back to the main lever and attach a script for it. Now again, click left side and select body entry, connect to the main lever. And as you can see, we have that function here. That function will trigger only when a body enter the left side area and we need to do the same thing for the right side select it and click on body enter it connect to the main level and like that we have two functions now we need to declare two variables the first variable is going to be the player score initialized to zero and the second is going to be the computer score initialized also to zero and now we need that uh, every time the ball enter the left side we need to increment the player or the computer score plus equal one and when the ball enter the right side we are going to increment the player score and let's run the game ah, as you can see the ball has entered the right side but the labels it's not updated and that's why we need to create a new function called update score labels and that function we are going to update the labels but before that we need to get access to the player and the computer score labels so already var player score labor equal to player score and next is the computer score labor computer score and here we need to update those two labels so for the player labor dot text it's going to have the str player score and for the computer score labor dot text it's going to have the computer score so str computer 
underscore and at the top I need to call the ready function func ready and we are going to initialize the player's call labor and the computer's call labor to zero so player's call labor dot text equal to zero and computer scroll label dot text also to zero and let's test it and nothing is happening I don't know why oh we need to call the update score labels function here and also here and let's start the game again and here we are the computer has scored a point when the ball entered the left side but the ball is gone and we need to fix that and this is actually very simple all we need to do is to reset the ball position to the middle but first we need to get access to the ball node so on ready var ball equal ball and also we need to get the screen size so on ready var screen size equal to get viewport dot size so that variable will have the height and the width of the screen and here we need to set the ball position to the middle so ball position equal to vector 2 screen size dot x which is the width of the screen divided by 2 and screen size dot y which is the height of the screen also divided by 2 and we need to copy this line also here and let's run the game so as you can see the score label is updated and the ball position is set to the middle every time a player score a point so this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next part.